Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Our House 21 here, and it is time for another bearing benchmarking video series. This time I'm doing a bearing benchmark for my team associated um, for my team associated Apex here, which I've now affectionately named uh, Tex, which is short for Vertex. So uh, the wonderful people at Boca Bearings have found it in their kind, kind hearts to provide me another set of bearings for me to um, install uh, and perform an install video set for the team associated Apex uh, RTR. Uh, and this is also related to uh, the Pro Rally. So it's a very similar set. It's actually the same bearing set. And um, so you guys will see the full uh, bearing swap video series coming here very soon. But before I actually swap out the bearings, I want to get a benchmark just to know how much of a difference the bearings actually make. So same setup as you see me doing all the other cars. So I've got my turn sheet power meter, which is set up to measure power and uh, well, basically voltage to current to give me a power number. Uh, and I also have my uh, bias lipo checker in the back. Now I'm testing with uh, my SMC battery. You know, and I'm doing that largely just because that is, uh, I mean, it's a good general purpose battery and it's representative to what most people will actually be running out there in the field. And, um, but my car is also instrumented, so I have a temperature sensor mounted over here for my motor. I apologize for all the background noise. I'm actually doing this outside and there's a lot more background noise than I anticipated, but I'm already set up and it's gonna be loud. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. All right, guys, let me go ahead and power up so you can hear the beeps. All right, okay, so I'm showing, it's cold out here. The The car temperature is only at 61 degrees, but it's gonna heat up here pretty soon. All right, so same as usual, I'm gonna do, do a nice, easy uh, build up and then go for it. All right, guys, here we go. Good Lord. Okay, that was shocking. Um, I don't know if you guys were able to pick up on that, but this car actually, when I went to full throttle, it actually went in excess of 400 watts. So I actually backed the throttle off to about halfway. And yeah, that thing was screaming. So um, just to try to control things, um, I'm going to, um, I'm not going to go full throttle. I'm probably going to go about quarter throttle. I'll take it to about 300, well, I'll take it to about 200 watts. Um, that should be a good steady state flow. And that's okay because basically, uh, using my back data, I'm able to calculate what the ESC, um, RPM, so I say, I'm able to calculate what RPM the motor goes to based upon what the voltage I have reading is. So I can back out everything in the day and I'll be able to have a nice, good um, set of comparison numbers to compare everything to. But that was ridiculous. This thing, I can't believe the numbers. Because I, uh, which you can't see right off frame, I just did the final benchmarking on the X01. And I was getting numbers of about 80 watts on that car, uh, geared for about 50 miles an hour. Um, this car on 3S is geared for roughly 70 miles an hour, but that's a ridiculous amount of driveline drag. I can't believe what I saw there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and spin this guy back up, and um, I said I'll, I'll take it to about 200 amp, 200 watts, and just go from there. 
But yeah, you can see the numbers. I was pulling 40 amps. That's insane. I, I did, had no idea that the the stock losses in this thing were that bad. All right, well, let's go ahead and do this again. Okay, the car seems pretty balanced. It's just loud and draggy. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take it up to about 250 to 300 watts this time. Um, and the bat the motor temperature is only at 75, so that's not too bad. I'm feeling the diffs, and yeah, the rear diff feels a little warm. The front diff is a little warm too but it's just a little warm it's not hot yeah so i really should have grabbed that ir temp gun but that's all right okay so i'm going to take it back up to let's say about 250 300 and the goal is to get the battery voltage down to about 3.7 volts per cell i might give up before then just because i i'm shocked at how much drag is in this stupid thing but that's a reason to do the bearing swap. So this is actually gonna be some really interesting data. I, I'm still just in awe. I, I don't understand. I, I really don't. All right, so let's go ahead and do this again. Alright, so I think I'm going to do one more pull and just call it quits. So like I said, that's pretty, almost, that's pretty disturbing that there's that much loss. Now, one thing that could be going on here is um, this car, uh, the team associated cars have this, a reputation of having a, a pretty bad driveline vibration when you get up to high uh, temperatures or I should say high RPMs so I'm gonna just kind of try to illuminate this a little bit on this next pool and see if I can see the drive line bouncing around in there all right so let's see whoa actually I can kind of see actually there looks like there is a spot that looks like it's rub on something that might be the source all right so I'm going to have to do a nice detailed look inside of here. And I've actually rigged up. Oh, that would explain it. I actually rigged up a bearing carrier to try to keep this thing from vibrating. And it looks like it vibrated enough that it just knocked it out of place. So I'm going to have to rig up another one of those. Okay. So, all right. So that just shows that there's more to be done here but I'm just gonna go ahead and do another pull uh, and you can hear the vibration kick in so I'll take it to about 200 watts which is where you uh, where it was kind of still steady and just go from there Or maybe not. You could actually see the drive shaft bouncing around. Actually, you might be, not be able to. Let's move that up. 
Okay, so you can see the dry shaft in there now. So let's try this again. Okay, I'm gonna call it. Uh, that shaft is that shaft is shaking around like crazy. Okay, so that may be part of the cost, part of the issue with all that drag that was coming, because that drive shaft is trying to free itself from the car. Okay, all right, I might have to just replace that drive shaft with something uh, more sturdy. Um, I have a plan. Don't know how well I'm going to be able to execute that plan, but yeah. I'll figure out something. I, I have something cooking. All right, guys. So I got some data. Got some. I think it should be good data. So I'll go ahead and do the bearing swap, and you know, you guys can get to see what it looks like in the final results. All right, guys. Our house twenty one signing out. Peace.